Good morning, good afternoon, good evening for everybody who's actually joining us today. Marco and myself, Subaya, Subaya Sundaram, we will give you a quick walkthrough of Haiku, protege for O365. Our solution for O365 will be a small set of slides and then we want to show you the real solution in action. Yeah, let's get started. First thing is that who is Haiku? Most of you probably know by now, we actually focus on multi-cloud data protection. We are headquartered in Boston and we have sold in over 70 countries. The most important thing which we pride ourselves is our net promoter score. The main reason is that that tells whether our customers like working with us. The amazing thing is that we have given us a score of 91, which is extremely hard to get and we are very proud of it. And thanks, thanks to all the customers for that. Before we get into O365, people ask us, what's our context? I mean, like around hybrid cloud, what, when we see customers in, what we are seeing in majority of our customers is that they don't have just their on-prem infrastructure. Pretty much all of them actually have some public cloud in their infrastructure. When they talk about public cloud, they're just talking, not just running virtual machines and applications. They're also looking at running public cloud data services like O365 and G Suite and so on. So that's one of the things a lot of our customers are using today. It is just not using it. What we have seen, especially with some of the changes happened in 2020, the adoption of these services have gone tremendously. So what we offer, Haiku offers, is what we call Haiku Protege, the solution which allows you to manage not just your on-prem infrastructure, not just your public cloud, virtual machines and applications and containers, it also allows you to manage your data services, your access services, and in this case, Office 365. So we allow you to manage all of that. We provide you data protection. We provide you data, help you migrate the data from uh, between clouds, as well as we help you with the disaster recovery protection. That is something we offer for customers. The first thing I know we're going to talk about O365. It's obvious to all of you guys who are listening today regarding what is O365. The reason why we have this slide is that sometimes when people think of O365, they just think in terms of, oh, just the SharePoint or just the email. As all of you know, O365 is a collection of a lot of services Microsoft actually, actually provides. The main, this is an important factor because when you think in terms of a solution, be it Haiku or any other solution you're going to acquire in your organization, you want to think in terms of, does it actually provide you the comprehensive coverage? And that's why we emphasize to people, O365 is a broad collection of infrastructure. One slide before I go on, people ask me, uh, do I need to back up O365? Especially because it's a cloud service, it's a SaaS service, right? So people think, oh, isn't, doesn't Microsoft automatically protect the infrastructure? That's where I, we tell people, please read your Microsoft uh, documentation as well as your contract. In, the, in that contract, Microsoft explicitly says, please protect your data. People wonder why do we have to protect? Whether it's being on-prem or in the public cloud, at the end of the day, we are all humans and we people do make mistakes. So you want to protect against mistakes. That's number one. Second thing is there are bad actors in the world and we have to protect ourselves against that. That's the second thing. The third thing, your organizations, you're, you're talking to enterprise organizations, your organization enterprise. When you think of the enterprise, you have compliance needs and you got to protect your data for compliance needs too. Those are some of the top level needs. If you have any questions, always reach out to us. We'll be very happy to provide. People, then the question is that what's special about our O365 solution? Again, there are lots of options for you available in the market. What I will do is walk you through some of the reasons, what some of the things, what uh, we offer and what's special about us. The first thing is what we deliver is a fully managed service for protecting your O365. People said, what does it really mean? It's a service, all you do is subscribe to the service, it's turned on and you start consuming it. There is nothing more you have to do, meaning it, we provide, we upgrade it, we constantly keep it up to date, maintenance patches, 24 by seven monitoring, that's our responsibility. That is something we do. That's the first part. The second part, because it's a true SaaS, you don't have to worry about an on-prem infrastructure, running it up, setting it, managing it, your backup targets and running servers, none of that problem appears. 
And the big thing for customers, there's no sizing exercise. Turn it on, grow as much as you want. If you want to shrink, no problem, shrink it. And then turn it, if you want to turn it off too, you can turn it off anytime. That's the flexibility it provides you. The second thing is coverage. An important thing in O365, as I mentioned earlier, is that O365 is a collection of services. You want to make sure not just a couple of them are protected, all of them are protected. Because at the end of the day, when you go tell your management that I have all of them protected, your management is expecting all of the data in O365 is protected. That is something you want to be able to deliver. That's there. The second thing is how often are you protecting here? And the question is that what Haiku has done is we try to make sure the data is fully protected to the maximum available uh, bandwidth, which uh, Microsoft allows us to do. That is something there. And the last thing I want to mention here in this thing is around how long can we keep the data? The good thing about Haiku is that we keep the data forever in the sense that as long as you manage your subscriber service, your data is protected and you can keep the data for 10, 20, how many hours you want to do, we can keep it. That said, if you want to control how long you want to keep it, you still have the option to do it. No problem with that. The third thing is around the only reason you're backing it up is that in case something goes wrong, you want to get the data back. That's where it comes down to, can you actually provide the different levels of granularity, right? All the way from being able to recover one single email or one single file to the entire OneDrive or the entire mailbox for the user, you should be able to recover. That is something we our entire site in the case of SharePoint, right? We can actually provide you all the different levels of granularity. That is a simple thing. It sounds small, but it's an extremely valuable thing for customers because it gives you the flexibility. The other thing I want to call out here is around the rec searchability. The reason is that once I told you, you can keep the data forever. Once you start doing that, you have tons of data. The question is that how do you make it easy to do? How do you search for what you really need? That's where this data, all of your data is searched and indexed and, uh, and searchable. Makes it very simple for you to do that. The fourth thing, as I told you, you guys are all enterprises. And in an enterprise, you have compliance need. And uh, we really hope all of our people are true and they do right, but there are bad actors who appear every once in a while. And there are sometimes attacks happen in your organization. People want to know who touched the data, when, what happened and so on. So that is something you should be able to do that. And that is something Haiku can help you with. We keep the entire audit trail of what data was accessed when, that's number one. The second thing is that, let's say for example, there's a lawsuit going on, then people will ask you to do what's called a legal hold, right? Meaning the data, none of your backup should be deleted for a period of time till the lawsuit just gets done. You can actually do that, that's the second thing. The third thing is that e-discovery is a huge part in a lot of enterprise organization. What is e-discovery? Some of you probably are wondering. Let's say there's a, a lawsuit or a HR issue, human resources issue going on in the organization. They would want to know who did this person talk with? Or there's a lawsuit between two companies. They would want to know who did this person talk to or who all the company people talk with in the other company and what are the different engagements they have. That is something you should be able to do and your lawyer should be able to come and see all the data. All that is built in in the solution. You don't have to need, you don't need any special thing. It's data is there and easy to use it there. That's something we do that. The last thing I want to mention, we are talking about public cloud and a public cloud service. Security is of utmost importance to a lot of customers. The thing here is that we keep the data very securely for you. It's and all of the data right from the source all the way to the destination and in the tar backup targets are fully encrypted. And we use uh, all the key management services to keep the data safe. We make sure we are SOC compliant. That way you can be rest assured that your data is safe and you're following the process. And last but not the least, because we are dealing with data, people want to say, is it actually compliant because we're dealing with people data. So we can we are already compliant to HIPAA, as well as some of you probably have regional, um, uh, what they call a data locality uh, constraints in the sense you, the data cannot leave certain regions. We can actually provide that too for the customers. So that's, again, all this is built in in the solution. So I know you probably heard enough of me and you probably want to see that product in action. 
So I will actually ask Marco to do that uh, real demo of the live product. But one thing before I go, I'll probably want to say, O365 is one part of your broader infrastructure, right? That's a service, a critical service, but it's one of your services. What Haiku Protege allows you to do is that take a holistic picture. It allows you to manage your virtual machines, your applications, your file system shares, and your O365 all from a single pane of glass. And as you can see there, it tells you, gives you a very simplistic view, a view which actually simplifies the entire concept of what your management really cares about. That said, in the interest of time, I'm going to ask Marco to actually do a quick in-depth of my, the, our O365 solution. Marco, I'll switch uh, you wouldn't use to a screen share, Marco. Thank you. Thanks for that. Let me switch. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Marco. And uh, let me show you all the beauties Subaya was just talking on the slides, uh, how it looks in the real life. Right. So as you see here, uh, this is our Haiku for Office page. And what does this uh, being delivered as a service? What does this mean? Well, instead of you looking for hardware appliance, looking where to deploy, maintain, how to protect your backup infrastructure, how to manage it, upgrade it. Instead of all of this, you just go to the Haiku page, you contact us and, and subscribe. And from there on, you sign in. That's it. It's as simple as that. So all of this is done by Haiku for you. That's what actually serve as a service means. And uh, as you can see here, I'll log in to my Haiku for Office 365. What you see here is I'm logging on in also with single sign-on. So two-factor authentication, uh, which is just part of the product. We integrate with Microsoft Active Directory. And as soon as we log in, you'll notice one thing, it resembles all of our uh, current portfolio and current products and from one aspect especially and this is simplicity right so first thing you go in uh, what you need to do is simply add a backup uh, so you can add your office 365 and Haiku is going to protect it we can also support you for migration perspective so you can we can migrate your existing hosted emails into office or we can move you out of office to another uh, to another email service as well as soon as you add this we will immediately protect all of your data. We'll discover all of your emails, OneDrive's, contacts, calendar, tasks, SharePoint, groups, and teams. So the holistically, we will approach to your Office 365 protection and make sure everything is, everything is protected. When we're backing up emails, as Subai was mentioning, uh, there is no room for data loss. So every email is immediately protected. So let's say if you backed up at if you received an email at 2 p.m. today, 201, your shift deleted it, you'll be able to recover it from Haiku. So we do something called journaling where we actually back up holistically in entirely your data set. Right, so where, uh, where do we back up the data? What about storage? So from storage perspective, we have unlimited storage, and this is something we, uh, we give you as part of our license. Right, so it's it goes to cloud. It's very scalable, as, as I was mentioning. It has SOC, HIPAA, all of the certificates as well from compliance perspective. And how long do we keep it? Well, by default, we actually keep the data indefinitely, right, forever. And uh, obviously, some organizations uh, prefer not to keep some levels of data, or some, let's say, departments or people should not be kept forever. So we do give you. A, possibility to create your own retention policies and shorten this time frame to your desired needs. Okay, so this is about backup. What about restore, right? Well, restore is even simpler with Haiku. So you can just go to your dashboard and from here, you can perform restores of your complete mailbox to a different folder, to a different, uh, uh, from a different date and time and so on, right? You can even migrate this data to a different uh, email servers, right? Completely, you can use the MyMap and so on. Or you can even download this in email or PSD file as well, right? So this gives you one part of it. But you can also go deeper and literally find the email which you want and uh, go into your inbox and select whatever you like to recover. And similar to OneDrive, 
uh, where you can find your own files and folders, calendars, casts. So all of this can be granularly recovered, as well as SharePoint, right? Where you can literally go in and say, look, my demo site is down. I can recover my complete site, or I can also granularly recover the site, as well as groups and team where I can download particular chats as, as well as attachments to these chats as well. Okay, so this covers your, your basic restores, but a lot of times it's hard to find what you actually need to restore. And this is where Haiku's advanced search capabilities really come into picture. So you can find and search in your email as well as content and OneDrive and SharePoint. And you can say, look, I just want to see, for instance, give it a string and give it a search. What's interesting about it is in Office, if you need to perform such a search, it can take really long time. Whereas with Haiku, all data is immediately indexed and you can immediately search. And as you've seen here, it's really fast to get a search result from this. And if you're wondering about your email attachments, you can also just search through your email attachments specifically based on different types and so on, right? So a very holistic way of finding finding what you need to recover. You won't have a problem with this for sure. Right, and more than often people ask us, what about uh, self-service recovery? Can I, can I give my users ability to recover data on their own? And definitely with Haiku, what you see is we have different rules and permissions. So for instance, Peter Roberts, if I would enable his access, he has user read-only access, which means when he logs in, he's able to actually recover and see only his own data and search through his own emails and then recover it on his own. There are other potential, you know, number of different roles. You can also have different groups in Haiku configured as departments, and then you can have separate groups and group admins specifically to handle offload ownership of data and IT administration to these users. Um, as well as for service provider, which is interesting, you can also have a separate view where you can create multiple tenant accounts for each of your customers and really keep them separate and maintain them separately while giving them the simplicity of uh, using Haiku for Office 365. Right. Now, one thing which is very open and uh, which we discussed at the beginning was e-discovery and legal holds and similar. So what you see here is we have a number of roles which can be used exactly for this. So how does this work? As so you can see here, we have reviewer, compliance reviewer, and so on. So this works like this. You have something we call e-discovery. And with e-discovery, this is nothing else than a search, right? But you can save them. And when you save a search, you can then use this search for different, uh, let's say, use cases. One of them is alerting, right? So let's say if you have a search which is meant to discover your confidentiality breaches. How does this look like? Let's say somebody sells, sends an email to an outside domain with a contract, keyword with attachment. You can actually alert, get alerted all based on these, on these search criteria and then check if this is all okay. Um, similarly to this, you can actually create legal holds based on discovery. For instance, a finance, finance team needs to be put under legal hold so that external reviewers can review everything that is happening. So you simply create a account level, um, department level um, legal hold operation. This will immediately stop deletion of all of these emails which are part of the search. And then you can assign a specific administrator or a reviewer to be more correct. And this reviewer, right, as we saw before, can then be an external user as well. You can add it as an external user completely. And this reviewer will be able to see only the emails which were tagged and then follow it through the review process here and see how the things are going and review all the things which they need from legal perspective, right? So this gives you a really nice, simple way how to manage these complex legal holds in your enterprise companies. Okay, now, Another thing which is worth mentioning here in the compliance section is definitely the audit log. As Subaya mentioned, uh, you really need to be able to say and to find out who was doing what in this type of organizations and in this type of tools. And what's good about Haiku, you can literally see everything that a person did at any time range from which emails were viewed, restored, downloaded, 
sent and so on, right? So complete audit, tray log, user activity, system activity log, everything is uh, logged by Hive. And at the end, we do offer a complementary and other really interesting feature, which is called Insights, which gives you really unique uh, insights or inputs into your organizations where you can see uh, different statistics, as well as understand relationships between your uh, email accounts and find external contacts to whom you are communicating with the most and by the variety of other things as well. Right, Smile, anything you'd like to add? I think that's a great point. I think one last thing I'll mention uh, mm -hmm. is that on the system status, as you know, as part of the compliance thing, Marco, mm -hmm. as we always talk about, customers sometimes want to know did all the backups happen and who actually, all the activities with regards to are we compliant? Because compliance also means are you fully protected on a regular basis? All exactly. the information is available right in the screen which the customer needs. Exactly. Again, the key things we want to again mention here is that as Marco demonstrated, the simplicity of the solution is just to turn it on, use it, that's there. Second thing is that your support team doesn't always have to be involved in any email recoveries, things like that. You can have self-service. Marco showed you how you can actually let your people do the recovery them themselves. So that's a quick rundown, Marco. Let me do, in the interest of time, let me quickly switch back to the presentation and uh, summarize it for our users or viewers today. Um, okay, so just to quickly summarize, right? What Haiku delivers is a comprehensive solution for your O365. It's a service, you can turn it on and turn it off anytime you want. And you don't have to worry about how much sizing planning exercise as well as all your capacity planning access. All that is built in, available to you right away. Some of the other things, compliance is not something you have to worry about. And uh, you can also rest assured your data is safe. That's a quick rundown of our solution. It's probably one of the most comprehensive solutions you can actually find in the market. Again, this complements the entire Haiku portfolio of being able to manage your virtual machines, applications, containers, everything in multi-cloud, not just your uh, on-prem Nutanix and VMware infrastructure, but also your Google and Azure and some of the infrastructure in uh, AWS and now the public cloud service. All that from a single pane of glass. That's what we actually offer you. So you guys probably heard and you were wondering, how do you want, how can you try? Simple, go to tryhaiku.com, uh, uh, do a request and you will get a service to actually play with. So we would love you to try it out and provide your feedback. And if you have any questions, send a note to info at haiku.com. Again, info at haiku.com. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Thank you.